Welcome back. Hollywood filmmaker Nancy Myers is shutting down rumors that a sequel for her iconic film, The Holiday, is in the works. False reports had started circulating online, but Myers quickly took to Instagram to set the record straight. Now, I happen to be a huge fan of this movie, so I had reached out to Nancy to ask her to talk with me about it. And even though we might not see what happens to the characters in the next installment, I did manage to get the next best thing. You know them? I like twins. You love them. Get out of here. You cry with them. You laugh with them. And we're getting married. Many of your favorite movies have one thing in common, Nancy Myers. And this time of year, one masterpiece from the writer, producer, and director is particularly popular. Oh, yeah. The Holiday. The 2006 film starring Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Jack Black, and Eli Wallach has a special place in my heart. I'm just kind of a fan of the holiday and used to watch it on repeat from October to February. When I first wrote you that, did you just think I was totally crazy? No, I thought it was kind of adorable. It actually made me respond. Lucky for me. The movie has grown a cult following in its 16 years, but surprisingly, it didn't start that way. The movie didn't open in a big, splashy way. I gotta say, I was a little disappointed. The trajectory of the holiday was every year it became more popular. You just watched it for the first time in how long? I feel it's been eight years, nine years. My biggest takeaway was how much I love the actors and how personal some of it was. So it was kind of what I was going through with you know, my own private Jasper. And so it was great to have Kate Winslet be my voice in some of those scenes. Jasper is the character Kate Winslet. Iris in the film is trying to get over. Some of the exact details of their storyline were pulled directly from an experience Myers herself was having at the time. Myers, known for her casting genius, says she knew exactly who she wanted to play these special parts. I had Cameron and Kate in mind when I was writing. Uh -huh. And I know I met with Kate while I was writing. I think she came to my house, and I remember she just sort of did the scene, and something's got to give. Harry, I got to go. Of Slow Diane down. on the street with Jack when she finds out that he's with this other woman. And it was just, I loved her. I wanted her. And after seeing Jack Black in School of Rock, she cast him in what was a surprising role at the time. I think he's adorable, and Kate loved him loved him. Eli Wallach played the beloved role of Arthur Abbott. This is not a hard one to figure out. Arthur, you know, in the opening scene when he's getting in bed, that's my mother's wedding picture. I said to her, hey, I'm going to use your wedding picture in my movie. She said, uh, is my character dead? I said, well, she is, but you're not. <laughs> Fans of Myers are obsessed with the aesthetics of her films. A craze Myers says she doesn't totally get, but that she knows what she wants her movies to look and feel like. I try in my movies to keep them timeless in a way. Like I dress people in a way that will work in 20 years or 30 years. And I don't try to do a lot of references or very, you know, the way people speak of the moment. Mm -hmm. so, so when I heard Blackberry. And you sleep with your Blackberry. So, oh, that one got by me. One more thing that's a sign of the times, shooting in a now shuttered blockbuster. But it gave us a hilarious scene that Myers reveals had some ad-libbing from Black, rare on her sets. Well, hello, big dollop. <laughs> a small dollop and a big dollop. I don't think I wrote that, to be honest. I didn't say to him, this time, do 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 I let him go, and she really was laughing at him. Were you laughing on set during that? Of course, I laugh a lot. The sound guy's always telling me to shut up. And a special cameo was just a happy accident. Dustin was eating at a restaurant next door, so he popped in. And it was a long time when I went, what is wrong with me? They're talking about The Graduate. Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? You want to just be in the scene, and we'll just cut to you, and you can whatever. We didn't do his hair, we didn't put makeup on him. It was what he wore to lunch, and he just said, Can't go anywhere. Another fun behind the scenes fact Meyer's intervention in a fan favorite scene Diaz dancing alone. Maria! When we were doing it, she was just so good at it, and I, I, I just went, Come here, Ida, don't be so good. She said, what, what do you mean? I said, just be dorkier. That's why. It's a little clumsy and awkward, and that's what I wanted it to be. So you had to teach her or ask her to make it dorkier. Yes, I did. And as for those rumors of another installment... I've been asked to make a sequel a couple times, you know? And I think about it, and I just think it's good the way it is.
I don't know how I won't disappoint. Nothing you do disappoints. I, I don't know that it, could, it was just a moment in time for all of them and for me. And as for our favorite foursome, when you watch it, when you wrote it, where did you imagine they go? I don't, go, I don't do that. When it ends, uh, it ends for me. But um, to make you happy, <laughs> I believe they, uh, I think they're all together. <laughs> that did make me happy. They're all together. <laughs> I have to say, just first of all, Nancy, thank you. I love you. She was so sweet. We talked for almost two hours. Oh, my goodness. That we, is we a were deep just, dive. Like, going and going. We talked about a bunch of her movies. It was fantastic. But okay, so she's not doing a sequel, but I do have some good news for everybody who hasn't heard. During COVID, she did write another movie. She had okay, previously good. said she was retired. She's not. She wrote a movie for Netflix. Okay. It's shooting in the spring. And like the holiday, it's got five leads. And she says it's really funny. It's about making a movie. So there's some of those oh, autobiographical cool. details. Oh, my again. goodness. Let me look forward to it. I know. It's really exciting. Also, there was one more thing I had to ask her about. So she did The Parent Trap, as you may know, the one with Lindsay Lohan. And at my wedding back in the fall, as you can see on the right, that's my dad and I. We did the handshake <laughs> after our father-daughter dance. We kept it a secret from everyone, by the way, which was really fun. <laughs> uh, you know, we're a little off, as you can see there, but we did pretty good. So I asked her, how did you come up with that handshake? Because, you know, it's such a big moment. Here's what she said. It was in the script that, that we wrote that they have a special handshake. And then we did get a choreographer to help us, but it got a little mm, sophisticated. And then I turned it over to my kids. <laughs> and I said, here's what we have, you know, what do you think? So the kids worked on a little, and that's how the final version came to be. <laughs> Their kids, how amazing was that? She said the choreography, it was a little too much, but they they put the finishing touches on it. Also, they, up until a certain age, they made cameos in all of her films. So oh, they're, cool. she's in the bunk room with Lindsay Lohan in that movie. It's, it's just so cute. I she's love all the little incredible. tidbits behind the scenes. Yeah, the I know, all that. I know. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.